Well, got some bad news. What is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode. Thank you guys for watching. Today we are going to be working on the pond again, finally. We've been dealing with seed in the yard and all that and it's been like 100 plus degrees here for over a month now. So we've been avoiding working in here, but uh, really we need to get the humidity up in here in order to cool things down. So it's time to just finish the pond because that's going to help with the humidity a lot. Once that's done, we can work on everything else, sprinkler systems, misters, whatever. So this is how we left it. We got this rebar sticking out. We were planning on building a form because the window's got to sit inside of here. So we got to build a little lip for the window to sit on. But we were planning on building the form and just pouring concrete here. But we've now decided against that. We're just going to use these cap blocks like this. So they're just going to overhang a little bit. And then the window will sit against this little lip right here. So we're going to fill these with concrete, these ones that we left open. And then I'll probably cut the rebar out and just drill a hole in the block so it just slides over it and then we're going to use uh, what is it landscape block adhesive to glue all the blocks on and then we are also going to get some half inch foam insulation like just the boards and we're going to cover the whole inside we're probably not on the bottom but on the sides we're going to cover it in that insulation that'll just make a smoother better surface for the fiberglass to sit on so it's not all bumpy where the mortar lines are and stuff in the pond so we're gonna get mixed up some concrete, get these all filled up, and then we'll figure out what we gotta do to get the blocks put on. First batch of concrete's mixed up, so I just do it about this consistency, and then I just use a shovel and just shovel it in there. It's pretty simple. It makes a bunch of air bubbles and stuff unless you do it super wet. So I do it like this, and then I'll just tap it with a hammer, or the back of the shovel or something. And it is already—it's still early in the morning. It is already hot in here, but luckily we got some clouds today, so hopefully it don't get too bad. But start filling this. got the block all filled with concrete so that should be all good now we just got to get these put in place so I'm gonna grab the grinder cut this rebar down just little nubs sticking out and then we will figure out what we got to do get this all in place and get this glued on so, yeah we ended up just cutting the rebar all the way off I don't think it's gonna do much good at all just being poked into these so we cut that off and then we got a line marked out our exact inch and a half all the way around then we kind of lay these where we want them to go and then use a level just to make sure the back sides of them are all square so you can see the lip i'm talking about back here where the glass is going to sit i figured that's the most important part for that to just be flat and square that way i can get a good seal on the glass so this is roughly how it's going to be this is probably what it'll look like when it's all done we just got to measure this figure out what the distance is going to be here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably start gluing them in one corner and glue to here 
and measure the distance because I don't know if the adhesive is going to like add any thickness in between these. So I might cut this wrong if I cut it right now. So yeah, now I'm thinking about I'll probably do that. So I'll probably start by gluing those two and then glue this one, glue this one, get those set in place where we want them for sure. And then I can measure that. We can do that. And then we got two top ones right here we got to cut. And that's it. That's it for the window. Then we'll get going on the foam. So what we're using for the adhesive for this is this Loctite landscape construction adhesive. It's used for like uh, stone retaining wall blocks. So I figured that would probably be the best thing to use for this. Everything I looked up online said it's super strong, but if I'm wrong and I need to redo it, let me know in the comments because I am not 100% sure. So I figure we're just gonna glob this up everywhere I can. And then I'll probably cover this block, the whole side of it, and then we'll kind of smush it into there and hope for the best. This is done. These are all glued on. Everything's holding good so far, but we're gonna give it a while to set up. Uh, you can see this inside edge turned out pretty good. We used a piece of wiggle wire channel just as a straight edge and held it up as we went. So all the edges are flat and square with each other. That way the glass has something good to sit against. And one more thing I wanted to mention is the reason that I'm using just adhesive I just need these blocks to hold on. These are basically just a mold for the fiberglass. So the weight of the window or the glass itself and the water is not going to be pushing on these blocks. The fiberglass is going to hold the majority of that weight and these are just to help a little bit and then give me a mold to put the fiberglass on in the first place. So that's why I'm using the adhesive but if it was actually like pushing against these I would want concrete with rebar and everything but yeah it's not. So I think this will work great hopefully but yeah it is 105 degrees in here you can probably see i'm pouring sweat i got sweat in my eyes right now me and tiffany are dying of heat so we're gonna clean this all up go take a break for a little bit and then we'll come back and start working on the foam and then we'll be ready for fiberglass so we're back it's the evening it's cooled down a little bit so we're gonna start putting the foam board up we're gonna get all this cleaned up and then try to clean up the walls any little things hanging off we'll try to scrape them off and then uh yeah Pretty, pretty simple. got dark on us last night but we're back now so we're gonna get this all finished so this I didn't really explain it very good before but this is just half inch foam insulation board 
And we're really just putting this up to smooth out the fiberglass. So I'm not sticking the fiberglass directly to the cinder block. And you won't see all the mortar lines and little marks in it and stuff. So I don't think I need any on the bottom because the concrete's pretty smooth on the bottom. So we're just going to put it around on all the sides. And then we're just using this all-purpose construction adhesive to stick it to the walls. So pretty simple, nothing crazy. Once it's fiberglass, it's not really going to matter anyways. And then this, I forgot to talk about this. So this is the geothermal tube. So we are just going to use expanding foam, I think, and kind of go all the way around this and then put some of this in the front of it. So this corner will kind of just be cut off be its own little foam piece we'll just fiberglass all around it so we're going to start working on that and then we are going to finish foaming these walls and then we will be all ready for fiberglass so Foam's all up, the walls are up. We're still working on this, but we kind of got to do like a little bit at a time and then let it set or else it all falls flat. So we're letting that all set up and then we'll finish filling in behind it, start working on the piece there. And then we, now we got gaps. Like this board I cut really bad, so I filled it. We're just using this white caulking just to smooth out the little gaps. And then like around these pipes, we'll fill around there and smooth that out so it's easier to fiberglass. And then the other thing we're gonna do is do, I wanna cut all these edges like a bevel, especially here around the window. I wanna bevel it and make it all nice, but the styrofoam is cutting kind of shitty unless you have a really sharp knife. You see how it's like just the little balls breaking apart. So I think what we're gonna do is go to the hobby store and pick up a hot knife for cutting styrofoam. We're gonna use that to bevel all the edges. And then we're also gonna take little strips of the foam, like one or two inch strips. We're gonna put them in all the corners all along the bottom then the corner pieces here that way it's a little bit smoother i think i've never done fiberglass before so i'm trying to make it easier on myself i think that'll be a little bit easier than the straight 90 degree corner you know and it'll look better too so we're gonna get this all caulked up and then we will go to the store get a hot knife and get working on everything else Okay, so you can see the foam was just sagging really bad and blowing out down here. So we upgraded to the professional foam gun here. This stuff sets up a lot faster. It's a lot stiffer. So I've used it for making vivariums before. It's working a lot better so far. So. Right, well, this is setting up over here. Probably gonna do another layer on it once it's done, but. We're gonna start beveling the edges and cutting the foam. We got this little foam cutter, pretty much just heats up like a soldering iron and melts the foam. So we got this one, I'm kind of shaky, so hopefully I can make it good enough, but whatever. We're gonna go bevel them all, get that did. got these all cut well a couple of them I cut these corners at an angle and then these pieces are gonna go up in the corners just to smooth it out it'll help with the flow in the pond makes everything look better and it'll probably make it easier to fiberglass so, you can see we got that one done already kind of just eyeballing how I want them Okay, we are 
are done. Thank God, because it is hot. I'm dying in here. The foam is all done. The lip is all done for the window. And we are completely ready for fiberglass. Well, got some bad news. So, we finished this all up. I was all excited. Getting ready to fiberglass. Went home and was researching fiberglass stuff a little bit more. And, uh... I realized that, or I found out that you cannot use this foam with polyester fiberglass resin. It melts polystyrene foam and completely destroys it. So luckily I found that out before we decided to try to fiberglass it, but now I got to rip all of this off and replace it with some poly iso foam. So that sucks really bad, but just is what it is you know the show must go on so I'm gonna try to figure out how to get all this off I'm hoping I can use like an oscillating tool to get that glue off but I'm also in a hurry so I'm probably not gonna film every bit of it so I apologize but yeah I'm gonna get all this ripped off and then we'll get that other foam put up in its place and we'll show you when it's done all right so we finished with all the foam we got the right foam this time so poly iso foam we got everything put up I'm really tired. We've been working late on it every single night this week because we found one more issue. It's foiled, so I don't think the resin was going to stick to the foil. We were thinking about it and didn't think it would work, so we tried to peel it off. It didn't peel off very good. You can see like where we tried to peel it off here. So we ended up just using an orbital sander and sanding it all off. So I don't know. This is it. It's done. You can see how it looks. It all looks good, but uh, I'm exhausted, so we're going to get ready and then we'll be fiberglass now. So stay tuned for part two, fiberglass.